I'm surprised you have the balls to come alone. I never said I'd be alone. Basically, this is our, our biggest uh, press event before we actually go live with the full game. And uh, we've gone through a lot of different things here. Uh, one is we've been revealing a lot about our, more about our customization, uh, how it affects the gameplay in, in Saints Row 2. We've got, uh, the biggest thing I guess is the style levels that uh, we've been, we've implemented. In Saints Row 1 you had style, but this time you actually have style levels that you can use throughout the game uh, when you go to purchase customization items of like tattoos, whatever in the game, car modifications, that all increments towards your style level. Also, um, it, we have, uh, in addition to that, we have a lot of customization for the personality of the player. We have three player voice, or six player voices, three, three female, three male. Uh, they're all different accents and different lines for each one, so you can actually, when you play the game with a different voice, you actually, the, they're not the same lines uh, just send, said by a different actor, they're actually different, written differently. So it actually changes the experience of all the cinematics and just the, in, the ambient lines that the player says during the game. You're gonna help me destroy the Saints. An old tour would love to be of service. But we have a whole selection of taunts, both negative and positive. You've seen that before. Uh, but how that affects gameplay, you can actually taunt uh, after you've done certain actions in the game and get additional respect. So. In Saints Row 1, all you, the only thing you could do to get respect was activities. In Saints Row 2, we have diversions, uh, which are also, they can be done at any time during the game. We also have combat styles in the game, which are brand new to Saints Row 2. Our enhanced melee system gives us the opportunity to give the player a whole new experience with melee. You start out the game with a baller style, which is just a basic kind of fisticuffs. But as you progress through the story arcs, you'll have three different new melee styles you can choose from. Uh, our three gangs are the Ronin, Samdi, and Brotherhood. And each of those gangs has a specific style according to their, their uh, style of the game. The player actually chooses which style they want to do. They earn it as an unlock. Uh, one of the things we've done in Saints Row 2 is, is give the player a lot of rewards that they can unlock during all the activities, missions, and even diversions you have unlockables that you can get. We have a lot of smart mathematicians that are uh, programmers mostly that want to know these statistical things and I'd say that we're easily in the millions of combinations of characters. Uh, we haven't ever actually uh, gone down because we are always, we right up to the last moment we we're adding new features, new customization features, new clothing. Uh, so and we have roughly I'd say uh, 10 different facial combinations and 10 sliders and 100, sli 100 combinations on each slider. So yeah, it adds up pretty quick. Co-op is obviously one of our biggest features that we're, we're showcasing and it is a lot of fun. Uh, the, s the way we've uh, integrated it is a seamless system that allows players to jump in, jump out anytime they want during a game, join any other person's game they want and just either join in the fun with them at, and where they are in the story or start all over with a, with a brand new story. And they can always go back and replay games or they also get credit for anything they do with another co-op player even if they're ahead in their own single player game. And one of the nice features I think is when you go back to your single player game and you play through that story, you get to a mission that you've already done with a co-op player, you can choose to replay that mission or just skip it.